Welcome to the Royal Oak Pellet Series. I'm Pitmaster Malcolm Reed from How to Barbecue Right. Today I'm gonna to show you how I do barbecue catfish. Let's get to cooking. So I've got four catfish fillets here. We're gonna dredge them in some melted butter that I've kicked up a little bit. I've added some Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of parsley, some hot sauce, and a little bit of barbecue season in that melted butter. Just mix it up, warm it up in the microwave. You don't want it real hot. We're gonna dredge these catfish fillets in this melted butter. So it's gonna help our seasoning stick. I think I could get two in there at one time. Now once they're in the butter, we're gonna lay them on a bed of lemons on a little raised rack. You need about three or four slices of lemon just to keep the fish from sticking, keeps it up off the rack. We're gonna lay it right on top. We've got some barbecue flavors working in our butter, but you gotta get a little more on top. So I'm using my barbecue season. If you've got a favorite season, go ahead and use it here. We just wanna cover the top. Butter's gonna help it stick. It's gonna give it some good barbecue flavor. Now we're ready to go to the pellet grill. So I've got my pellet grill running with the new 100% charcoal pellets from Royal Oak. The temperature's setting at 350 degrees, and it's gonna take these fish fillets about 10 minutes. We're gonna keep an eye on them. When they flake apart a little bit, that means they're done. I'll show you how we're gonna serve them up. All right, our catfish has been on for about 10 minutes. And what I wanna see is the flesh start to flake a little. When the, it's about 145 internal. It wants to flake apart. That's how you know catfish is done. Let's get it off the grill. Look at that, barbecue catfish. Now I've made a little creamy slaw that's gonna be our foundation for serving this fish. We're just gonna put some on a platter here. And then you don't have to let the fish rest. It's ready as soon as it comes off the grill. We're just gonna take a spatula, set it right on top of our slaw. Garnish it with a little bit of parsley and a squeeze of lemon. And that's how I do barbecue catfish. Let's see how it tastes flakes apart. I know it's going to be hot. It's got the barbecue flavors. Mm. Immediately taste that charcoal flavor. Barbecue notes, a little sweet. Fish is kind of neutral, so it can take on all these flavors. You get the citrus, you get the heat, you get the spice. Most importantly, you get that grill taste. That's what I want when I'm cooking on a pellet grill. That's why I'm using 100% charcoal pellets by Royal Oak. 